Welcome to Medlacto. Today we are going to discuss lymphoplasma cytoid lymphoma. In this lymphoma, lymphocytes and plasma cells are produced excessively. And in this lymphoma, there are several monoclonal antibodies will produce, which is IgM in nature. Normally in our blood, polyclonal antibodies are present. But in this lymphoma, monoclonal IgM antibodies will start producing. So, lympho means lymphocyte, plasma means plasma cell. Both cells are present in them. And lymphoma, as we know, this is actually related to the lymph nodes. This disease having lympho lymphoplasma cytoid cell plus monoclonal IgM antibodies. These two factors are present in this lymphoma. This is actually the type of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Monoclonal antibody or you can say IgM is also called M protein same as they are also called para protein myeloma protein they are actually the same because lot of student get confused what is M protein, what is para protein and what is myeloma protein. So, lymphoplasma cytoid lymphoma also called Welder Welder strong macroglobinemia nemia they are also called Welden strom macroglobinemia. Welden strom is basically Jane Welden strom was the person who discovered or who contribute in the this lymphoma. And macroglobinemia, macroglobin, macroglobin, nemia means blood. Macroglobin macroglobulin present in the blood. What type of macroglobulin? IgM. IgM is basically a macroglobulin which is present in the blood in this lymphoma. Next, we talk about the mutation. What type of mutation occur in genes? Two genes are mutated. M, Y, D, ATA and CXCR4. These two genes get mutated and MYD stand for myeloid myeloid differentiation. Actually, these genes are involved in provide the signaling of the immune cell. And CXCR stands for CXC chemokine receptor receptor 4. These genes are involved in the progression of the tumor. So these two types of genes get mutated in lymphoplasma cytoid lymphoma. Next, if we talk about the marker, what type of marker? Actually, this is the B cell defect, B cell lymphoma and CD20, I, SIG, surface antibodies, MUM1 markers are present, CD20, CD20 are present in all types of non-Hodgkin lymphoma 
which is specific for the B cell tumor. And S I G stand for surface antibodies and MUM1 is actually the transcription factor. Transcription factor which are involved and we can identify this. So we can, uh, how we can identify these markers? We can identify it by immunohistochemistry. Next, you will talk about the symptoms, fatigue, weight loss, dyspnea, shortness of the breath, difficulty in breathing, heart failure and hepatosplenomegaly, enlargement of the liver and the spleen. This is the feature of non-Hodgkin lymphoma also. Bleeding. Actually, bleeding occur in this. Why? Because IgM actually pentameric. This is actually the pentameric antibodies. And if it present in blood, it cause, it will interfere with the platelets and with the coagulation factor. Due to their interference with these two platelets and coagulation factor, it causes bleeding in the patient. Next is hyperviscosity. As IgM, if IgM is present in blood, lot of monoclonal IgM present in blood, it cause visco it increase the viscosity of the blood, which cause hyperviscosity syndrome. And due to the hyperviscosity of the blood, it causes, it first of all attack the retina, retina of the eye. And in that situation, retina veins which are present in the retina engorge, engorgement of the vein. And sometimes hemorrhage can also occur in the retina. So this is the hyperviscosity syndrome. And last one is the Raynaud phenomena. This phenomena not occur in all patients. It will happen in only those patients which have macroglobulin, glo, globulin. What type of macroglobulin? Cryoglobulin. Those macroglobulin which become precipitate in cold situations are called cryoglobulin. And let's pause. Here you can see this is the blood vessel. Mostly in cold situation our hands, face, nose, ears are exposed externally. And in, that, in these parts of the body, blood vessel, here you can see this is the proteins which are present in the, these are the protein which are present in the blood vessels. And if they reach towards the fingers, nose, ears, face, then it will start precipitating and block the blood vessel. And if the blood vessel block, then the blood which come towards the blood, that blood vessel will not come to that part of the body, fingers and nails. And if the blood not reach there, then it causes cyanosis. Cyanosis. Hypoxia. Those part of the tissues will not get enough oxygen to get oxygenated. So in, in those part of the areas, cyanosis occur and this is called Raynaud phenomena. Next, how we will diagnose the lymphoplasma cytoid lymphoma? We can diagnose, first one, you will see serum IgM level. It will be increased in that situation. Next, bone marrow biopsy. If we, if we do bone marrow biopsy, you will see two types of the cell. First one is the lymphocyte and second one is the plasma 
cell. We know that lymphocyte B lymphocyte are actually convert plasma cell later on. Next, ESR of that patient will be increased. ESR normally increase in lymphoma. We also see lymphocyte in the lot of lymphocyte in the periphery of the blood. You will see lot of lymphocytes in the blood smear. So this is all about the about the lymphoplasma cytoid lymphoma, which is also called the Welder Strom macroglobinemia. If you have any question, then you may ask in the comment section. Thank you.